is the last day of the month of November. Tomorrow we begin the last month of the year 2021. As we observe the last day of the month of November, we mark the 158th birth anniversary of the father of the Philippine Revolution, Andres Bonifacio, who is also known as the Supremo of the Katipunan. That is why today, I'd like to invite everybody that let us pray for our country, let us pray for our people, especially in the light of the forthcoming national and local elections. November 30 is also significant in the Catholic Church because today we celebrate the feast of Saint Andrew the Apostle. The Byzantine Church honors Andrew with the nickname Protoclete. What is the meaning of the word Protoclete? It means the first call. The first called by Jesus together with his brother Peter. As a matter of fact, our gospel reading for today narrates to us the call of the first apostles. Two sets of brothers, Peter and Andrew, James and John. The gospel says that as Jesus was walking, Along the Sea of Galilee, he was watching two brothers, Simon, now known as Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the sea. It is because they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Come after me, follow me, I will make you fishers of men. And interestingly, Peter and Andrew immediately they immediately abandoned their nets and they became followers of Jesus originally Andrew was a disciple of John the Baptist when Jesus walked by one day John the Baptist said behold the Lamb of God and immediately Andrew and another disciple followed Jesus. Jesus turned around and noticed them following him. Jesus asked them, What are you looking for? And they said to him, Rabbi, where do you live? And Jesus answered, Come and see. And so they went to see where Jesus was lodged and they stayed with Jesus that day. Little else is known about Andrew in the Gospels. Before the multiplication of the loaves and the fish, it was Andrew who spoke about the boy who had the barley loaves and fish. When the Gentiles went to see Jesus, they came to Philip, but Philip then had recourse to Andrew. According to tradition, Andrew preached the gospel in what is now modern Turkey and Greece and he was probably crucified in a place called Patras. The gospel reading recounts the call of these two pairs of brothers, Andrew and Peter, James and John. And as we said, they were fishermen. They were not men of great scholarship. They did not go to the best universities at the time because there were no universities anyway. They had no influence. They had no wealth. And they did not belong to any famous social background. They were poor and simple fishermen. They were ordinary people, working people with no great background and certainly anyone would have said they had no promising future but it was these ordinary men 
whom Jesus chose. Ordinary fishermen who would later become fishers of men. Amen.